Thank you for joining us. I'm David Wade with this WBZ News update. Our top stories, the Duxbury mother accused of killing her three children was arraigned today on murder charges from her hospital bed. 32-year-old Lindsay Clancy appeared in the hospital and wiped away tears at one point as the prosecutor laid out some of the evidence. The prosecutor said that the murders were premeditated and that Clancy sent her husband out on errands while researching how long they would take. The defense attorney told the court that Clancy is paralyzed and will not regain the ability to walk. The judge has ordered that she remain in a hospital or a mental facility until trial. Some progress for MBTA riders. The Alewife parking garage will reopen partially on Wednesday. It's been shut down since Saturday when a driver crashed into a wall, sending a concrete barrier into the station below. So now riders will be able to park at the garage, but only to grab a shuttle bus because the red line will still be bypassing Alewife. And former Boston Mayor Marty Walsh is reportedly leaving the White House for the NHL Players Union. Multiple reports say that Walsh, who served as the U.S. Labor Secretary under President Biden, will be the next executive director of the NHL Players Association. The league's executive board is expected to unanimously approve Walsh in the next few days. All right, let's get a check of the forecast now with Eric Fisher. Eric? All right, David, we've got a little bit of wintry mix. They'll move across the area tonight. Not expecting a lot, but some slick spots, some sleep pellets, snowflakes, and a little bit of freezing rain to be possible, especially between 8 o'clock and midnight tonight. Quick moving band, temperatures near 32 degrees. It'll be long gone by tomorrow morning. No residual issues are expected, but just watch out for some slippery spots on untreated surfaces, especially north and west of I-95 overnight tonight. And the temperatures will actually rise overnight. So by the time we wake up in the morning, we're well into the 30s. We'll keep on going to 50 tomorrow afternoon. Bright sunshine. It'll be a breezy day. The wind picking up out of the northwest. That will make it feel a little bit chillier. Some gusts around 25 to 30 miles per hour, but it will be very much a mild day for this time of the year. 51 in Boston, 52 in Brockton. We'll stay in the 40s in central Massachusetts and southern New Hampshire. David. All right, Eric, thank you. This has been a WBZ News update. I'm David, David Wade. Easy for me to say my own name. Thanks for watching.